Hello everybody, this is Alex again. I wanted to share my new and latest project on my Volkswagen Golf. This is a 2003 TDI. Um, what I've been doing the last few weeks is working on converting this car to run straight vegetable oil. What I've already done is um, made homemade biodiesel to run in it, and that's why there's a sticker. I make the biodiesel in my garage which I may or may not make a video later uh, demonstrating how I do that but today I want to show you how this thing runs straight up used vegetable oil from a local restaurant um, we will start from the trunk uh, this is my fuel tank it's a 15 gallon fuel tank I just uh, picked it up at the local tractor supply it just has the hose running in the side and then it comes down the back into the floor, which then comes out the bottom of the car, which you can't really see on the camera. It runs along the bottom of the car, right where um, my fuel line is, and then into the engine. So we will go ahead and look inside the car. Let's open this thing up. So here's the engine. The fuel line comes out right here in the back. That little black line in the middle runs along the side, runs along there, and goes into this heat exchanger. So I'm going to back up and tell you a little bit about what's going, to, what's going on here. Um, as you know, that to run straight vegetable oil, or you may not know, you do need to heat it. That is the one thing that uh, will allow the oil to run just like diesel fuel. So if you can heat it to about 170 degrees, anywhere from 160 to 180, I heard works well. 170 is pretty optimal. Um, it will run just like regular diesel. So I'm gonna show you how I go about heating this oil. And as I said, this fuel line goes right into this heat exchanger. This is a 20 plate stainless steel heat exchanger that I got online. It is four inches wide and 20 inches long. It's a little overkill for my car, but I wanted it to work well. The way I'm heating it, I've tapped uh, right into my coolant lines. The one line comes out of the back. You can't really see, but it's out the back right where um, my in-car heater comes out. And the other T is also feeding from well, the engine right before it goes into my oil heater. It tees off there, goes into the heat exchanger, comes out the other end of the heat exchanger and goes back exactly where it came from to circulate as uh, normally in the car. So the hot antifreeze is flowing in there, the oil goes in here, it flows through the heat exchanger and it comes out every other plate so it doesn't mix with the antifreeze and it comes out uh, this end right here. There's a T this little thing is uh, measures the temperature which is inside the car so the oil comes out the top and then it goes into my filter this is just a 10 micron filter I got also at the tractor supply I hope to get a 2 micron filter but as far as right now it's only 10 micron I pre-filtered my oil at 2 microns before I put it in the back so I'm fairly confident that there's nothing in there now. Now this fuel filter is wrapped with a 100 watt uh, electric silicone heater and it works very well. I tested the heat, it comes about 250 degrees, the heater itself, so it's transferring the heat uh, right into the, the metal canister on the fuel filter so that helps keep the, the oil hot. Uh, as it's filtering it and right before it goes to the engine. After the fuel filter, the lines feed right into these solenoids. Now these are two electric solenoids. They're SV200s I got off greasecar.com. Um, they work very well and they are, I guess, I would almost say the brains. They really just decide which fuel is going into the injector. So on the left of this first solenoid, you can see this is the fuel line coming right from the regular fuel filter. And on the right here is the oil line and the solenoid, it, when it's off, 
when the whole system is off, it's just using regular diesel fuel and feeding, feeding it into the injector. When it is engaged with 12 volts, it clicks and then it's running uh, the oil. The other solenoid is the return line. Uh, same here. It just decides where the extra or excess fuel goes that the injectors do not use. And so when it's off, it just feeds right back into the filter and then goes back into the gas tank. When it's on or engaged, it flows along the line and into the T on this heat exchanger, which basically just creates a loop and then it loops through the system and goes again. Um, I, yesterday I drove on this system and it works very well. I drove about 120 miles. Um, the engine does not change sound when you ch move from oil to diesel or from diesel to oil. The only thing that you really have to be careful is uh, before you shut off the car to make sure that you have diesel into your injectors and in uh, your whole system before you shut it off because you will have trouble trying to start the car on cold vegetable oil. The last thing I want to show you is how I switch from the diesel to the vegetable oil and I just have this three-way rocker switch all the way down in the off position. It is just running regular diesel fuel. There is no power going anywhere to the system and really if you just leave it alone it will work just fine. If you turn it um, all the way on it will run 100% on the used vegetable oil and both solenoids are engaged. Now, uh, before you shut off the engine, the way you purge it is by turning off um, the first solenoids, which uh, feeds the, the fuel, and leaving on the second one. And that's what this does right here. If it's in the middle of the rocker, uh, the diesel fuel starts flowing into the injector system, but the second solenoid is still engaged, and so it is uh, allowing the excess oil still left in the system to go back to the... Um, back to the right oil tank so it doesn't get mixed up in my fuel filter and basically uh, dilute my diesel fuel with oil. Now uh, right above it is my temperature gauge and I've had the system running so it reads about 180 degrees and that temperature is right from the top of my waste vegetable oil fuel filter and that's how I monitor. I basically just start the car uh, regularly in about 15 minutes it will get warmed up and the electric heater will have the oil and the fields are warmed up and I just flip the switch and you're ready to go. As far as fuel economy goes uh, I haven't really noticed a difference in the fuel economy it's about the same as well as power. The car seems to have the same power doesn't really lose anything like that. I've um, only taken it on several trips so far and so I still am going to further test it to see if there's any other hiccups. Uh, but so far, it seems to work very well. Like I said, I, yesterday I went on my first 120 mile trip. It worked very well without any hiccups. And I was happy with the way it worked out. I currently get the oil just from a local restaurant, which provides more oil than I really can use. They have about 50 gallons a month. That is probably the hardest part about uh, installing a straight vegetable oil system is finding a restaurant that will actually allow you to take their oil um, because most of the big companies have taken that. And that's pretty much all I wanted to share here today is how this car is working on straight vegetable oil. If you all have any questions or comments, just leave them below or send me a message and I'll try to get back to you. Thank you so much.